away. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So I am joined with my lovely sister again today, Melanie Murphy, oh, yes. talking over me as usual. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> That's what What's I do best. What's the point of me being here otherwise? <laughs> So today we thought we would do something a little bit different than yeah. anything we've ever done before and I'm really excited for this video. Yeah, so we, we came up with this idea literally an hour or two ago because we were lying in bed and I don't know how we got onto the subject of star signs and zodiac signs um, and I was just saying to Jessica like it's not something I've ever followed or been interested in. Or she doesn't believe, believe in them. No, but... She's then, open to listening. <laughs> I'm open to listening but also I do find it fascinating that... Um, a lot of what I've heard over the years about Leos, which is what I am, and what are you? Pisces. Pisces. So a lot of things I've heard about what Leos are meant to be, I find true for myself and other Leos I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, she was just reading out like the compatibility or like character traits of my boyfriend and like everything and I she was read like, out, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Like literally described yeah. him. Um, so also we are in a hotel room because we are currently at Playlist Live in Orlando so that's why yeah. we don't have the usual background of pretty things mm -hmm. um, so basically she's going to like explain what she knows of Zodiac and then we're going to see if we believe what our Zodiacs say about us and then also like I just have had so much experience in like since forever that I just there's I believe in them like I believe in them like the the whole like compatibility thing and stuff like I really 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 do so explain your understanding of zodiac signs like to me it's just always been something that you see in magazines and it just seems yeah. very generic to me like what I've always thought of it is just that it was something made up a couple of hundred years ago and that it was like, which I've found recently not to be true, but I, yeah. I just thought it was something kind of fabricated and that they made up, kind of, they picked these generic traits that a lot of people would relate to and assigned certain ones to certain star signs and things like that. Especially with the compatibility thing, like I have family members who would always be like, if I started dating someone new, they'd be like, what's their star sign? What's their star sign? And then sometimes they would be like meant to be the most um, compatible. compatible star sign with me and we would be the most incompatible humans ever. So I just always kind of thought it was a bit of a load of shite. Yeah, but like I do like the magazine stuff and like, do you know like kind of like the monthly and like the daily horoscope thing? Mm. I've never followed that because I do think that that's a bit fluky. Like, you know, you could be just saying it's anything. Just so generic, but, it's like a paragraph. That but with the compatibility thing and like the personality traits and stuff that I honestly have seen that down to a T. Like any of the people I know who have been together for like a really long time, their star signs are compatible and people who have been together and end up breaking up, a lot of the time they're not compatible. More times so, than so. This is a, why I'm a bit willing to listen to her. Jessie told me and explained to me that it's been around since like Egyptian times. A ancient Egyptian times. And that is literally like forever ago. But like who, that. why, like what? And it was like the Babylon, the Babylon, what's the Babylon? The Babylon? The Babylon? The oh, what? It's like, it's Those like, people. Yeah, they, Um, it's since back in that time again. <laughs> and basically what it was, was, now I don't know it like down to a T, but it was basically like they studied the stars and astronomy and like they literally spent so much time doing this. Like they really did. And like people back then like were hella intelligent. Like yeah. they were made, like they, like they made... Um, I believe you, right. We parents. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? No way. So we'll leave a link down below um, where it explains all the traits of every star sign so it's linked to yeah. your birthday. And you Let can check yours. Let us know down below if you are like whatever the traits and the personality traits if they are you yeah. in the comments below because yeah. like that really interests me. Do your one. Okay, right. So I'm going to do my one. Okay, my Don't one. Don't need to read it off and I'll ask you like things and you just say whether you are or aren't like them but I'll also tell you what I think from an outsider's perspective yeah. knowing her if I think if I agree with this one sec one sec. this shite okay right so we're gonna do my one so I'm Pisces so I'm the little fishy <laughs> Pisces traits so strengths compassionate very I'd agree artistic yes I don't know if no I like I'd say like a creative Instead of is that not the same? I don't thing? I don't know. So anyway, you are in some ways intuitive, definitely. Yes. Um I'm so you're intuitive. bad at listening to your intuition sometimes. I am. Like I as I was saying, like it's like I get vibes about people and when I don't yeah. listen to them, they always prove me wrong and I like kick myself. Yeah. 
so you need to listen to that. I know. Uh, gentle, I'd agree. Yeah. Except you're clumsy as fuck. Wise. Um, you you are wise. I, in some from ways. my age. Yeah, you, in you some definitely ways. are. <laughs> and musical. No. I'm not musical. I love music. Uh, weaknesses. Fearful. Yes. yes right. Overly trusting. Definitely. So like yes. Sad. Yes. yes. <laughs> Desire to escape reality. Oh, yeah. yes. So much. Can be a victim or a martyr. <laughs> yes. My right, Pisces like being alone. Mm-hmm. Sleeping. Yes. Music. Yes. Romance. Yeah. Visual media. Love it. Swimming. Yeah. Spiritual themes. I don't I know do, what that means. Yeah. Pisces dislikes. Um, know-it-alls. Oh, I hate them. Being criticised. Oh, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that. I can take criticism. Can you? Yeah, I actually can. I didn't used to be able to, but I, I don't know if that's Constructive part- criticism, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it has yeah. to be from a nice place. Um, the past coming back to haunt you. Yeah. Cruelty of any kind. I'd yeah. agree with those. Um, it says Pisces are very friendly, so they often find themselves in a company of very different people. Pisces are selfless. They are always willing to help others without hoping to get anything back. Yeah. Pisces is a water sign, and as such, this zodiac sign is characterized by empathy and expressed emotional capacity. Their ruling planet is Neptune, so Pisces are more intuitive than others and have an artistic talent. Neptune is connected to music, so Pisces reveal musical preferences in the earliest stages of life. They are generous, compassionate, and extremely faithful and caring. People born under the Pisces sign have an intuitive understanding of the life cycle and thus achieve the best emotional relationship with other beings. Pisces born are known for their wisdom, but under the influence of Uranus, Pisces sometimes can take the role of a martyr in order to catch the attention. The attention. <laughs> Pisces are never judgmental and are no. always forgiving. They are Too also, forgiving. also known to be the most tolerant of all the zodiac signs so yeah and another thing about pisces is that like pisces are one of are like known as the most emotional sign and like that they're like they um just feel things on a different level like they um and i really am like i'm very emotional i'm very sensitive that's the word like pisces are like the most sensitive and emotional Mm. sign and i really am um and like like our mom is a pisces and like she's the same um, but like yeah I really really definitely agree with that right so I'm going to do yours now right yeah. and we're going to are see. Pisces and Leo meant to clash yeah me, me and you kind of clash a bit yeah we get on but we're they are meant Jesus, to clash Jesus we yeah. argue and bicker quite a lot like yeah when you hear Leo though I swear to god like everything oh this <laughs> is so true like oh my god I can't <laughs> I've read yours before and you didn't believe it and even I remember no, now I, mom, but, and I was like this is so mad yeah, at me now I'm a lot more self aware though like I can admit to my faults now and stuff right. you know so strengths creative mm-hmm. I would agree passionate mm-hmm. definitely generous mm-hmm. very warm hearted mm-hmm. cheerful mm-hmm. and humorous yes weaknesses mm-hmm. arrogant yeah yeah stubborn very she is so stubborn I'm stubborn too but like this one yeah she and puts her foot in the sand yeah, like the stubborn and, and even ar- with arrogance like I used to say like no 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 like I think a lot of the time arrogance and confidence there's a very fine line between them but sometimes um but that's one thing I'm trying to address about myself. That's why with, with star signs, I think they're a bit bullshit because a person changes over their lifespan and the more you accept your But like your, your personality doesn't change. You really. can't, no, 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 no. Arrogance is not a personality No, no, trait. I know. But these are trends. But the, no, but that's the what I'm saying. Personality bit. I think a weakness you can, you can work on. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But like once you like accept your weakness and like that's yeah. the path of the battle. Like, yeah. Um, self-centered. Yeah. Lazy. I can be. I can be. And inflexible. Yeah. I can be. <laughs> Leo likes theatre. 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 You and your accent, you weirdo. Theatre. I love the theatre. I do like the theatre. I'm going to the theatre. Literally was in theatre last month. Yeah, love it. Taking holidays. Oh yeah. You take so many holidays. <laughs> Being admired. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Expensive things. Yes. Can I tell them about the go? Okay. Melanie bought a coat right before and it cost her a grand. It was a treat to myself for something. And that me I and did. her dad, right? We're literally like Melanie. The things like and even now she's like, oh like it's just a coat. It's nothing. <laughs> it just has a name and it's tiny. It's Burberry. It's bitch. ugly. It's pretty ugly. <laughs> it's not ugly. I like it. But like she loves expensive things. Dry colours. Yeah. Fun with friends. Oh god, yeah. 
favourite Leo thing. dislikes being ignore, ignored. Oh, I hate it. It's judgmental. <laughs> Facing difficult reality. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this one. This one. Not being treated like a king or queen. <laughs> yeah, I am a fucking queen. I deserve queen treatment. Okay. So, people born <laughs> under the sign of Leo are natural born leaders. They are dramatic, creative, self confident, dominant, and extremely difficult to resist. She's very dramatic. Oh. <laughs> literally. She was lying in bed the other day. Literally here. And she was like, oh, oh, oh. And I was like, Melanie, like, we, like, just. I have precordial catch syndrome. <laughs> Shut up. Um, able to achieve anything they want to any area of life they commit to. There is a specific strength to a Leo and their king of the jungle status. <laughs> Leo often has many friends for they are generous and loyal, self confident and attractive. This is a sun sign capable of uniting different groups of people and leading them as one towards a shared cause. That's cute. And their healthy sense of humour makes collaboration with other people even easier. <laughs> Um, this makes them warm hearted in love with life trying to laugh and have a good time able to use their mind to solve, solve even the most difficult problems they will easily take initiative in resolving various complicated situations ruled by the sun Leo worships this fiery entity in the sky quite literally as well as metaphorically they're in search for self awareness and in constant growth of ego aware of their desires and personality they can easily ask for everything they need but could just as easily unconsciously neglect the needs of other people in their case for personal gain or status I I don't think I do that. <clears throat> I don't. I, I put people before myself nearly all the time. Well, it's like ninety five percent of things you are here. <laughs> when a Leo representative becomes too fond and attached to their achievements and the way other people see them, they become an easy target, ready to be taken down. Yeah. So, like, that's kind of just like a summary of like the personality. But then it goes but like so much of that is right. Like about yeah, you know what I mean. It's it goes weird. into greater detail. Like it goes Leo love and sex. Like Leo friends um, and family. What does it say about love and sex? Right. Oh my god. Oh, and then we'll do mine as well. This fire sign is passionate and sincere and its representatives show their feelings with ease and clarity. When in love, they are fun, loyal, respectful and very generous towards their loved one. They will take the role of a leader in any relationship and strongly rely on their need for independency and initiative. This can be tiring for the partner at times, especially if they start imposing their will and organising things that aren't theirs to organise in the first oh, time. <laughs> you do that with me sometimes too. You used to do it more. <laughs> oh, no. Um, each Leo needs a partner who is self-aware, reasonable, and on the same intellectual level as God, them. yeah. Their partner has also has to feel free to express and fight for themselves, or too much light from their Leo son might burn their own personality down. Mm. Sex life of each Leo is an adventure, fun, and very energetic. Rawr. I would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the stories. Those are the you. stories. <laughs> this is someone who has a clear understanding of boundaries between sex and love, mm. but might fail to see how important intimacy and emotional connection is to the quality of their sex life. Every Leo... Yeah, it took me a while. And yeah. now I do, like, intimacy for me. Oh, my God. I used to be all about, like, oh, trying this and trying that yeah. thing. And loads of people and blah, blah, blah. Having true intimacy is so difficult, but it's, like, it enhances everything so much. Yeah. Um, every Leo needs a partner to fight through their awareness and reach a sensitive subconscious core in mm. order to find true satisfac- satisfaction in a meaningful relationship. So that's like sex. Read your one. I want to right. know your Just to see if it matches up with what you've told me. Yeah. Oh, mine's way shorter. So deep in their hearts, Pisces born are very incorrigible romantics. They are very loyal, gentle and unconditionally generous to their partners. Pisces are passionate lovers who have a need to feel a real connection with their partners. Short-term relationships and adventures are not peculiar to their zodiac sign. In love and relationship, they are blindly loyal and very caring. What so the fuck does not peculiar? I think it's not. They they they're not a fa- uh, like a fan of like short relationships and like yeah. casual. And I was just about to say, I agree with that. Like I, I you um, just don't really. I don't. I don't like the whole casual thing really. Um, like I have like experienced it before, and it's just not for me. Like I need a connection with someone, especially if I'm um, being intimate with someone and sleeping with someone. If I don't have that connection, I'm like. I just um you just don't it's so go important there. for me like yeah. um whereas a lot of people like just you know don't need that but like I think it's because Pisces are very emotional and sensitive that's partly maybe why the um SD card <laughs> failed up and we thought we lost the whole video and had to film again and we just had like a little bicker <laughs> we had a little fight <laughs> um so oh my god <laughs> that's happened to us before once the audio wasn't recording we literally had to reveal a whole like hour long video. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's so stressful. It's so... Um, cause you, if you Repetition, repeat, If yeah. you repeat yourself, it comes out really... Disingenuine yeah. or something. Because this wasn't really planned, this video, but um, I think these videos turn out the best anyway. But yeah, so what I was going to say was, um, how do you guys feel about all of this? I want to know in the comments, and I just want to see loads and loads of comments from you, but like, what is your zodiac and Leo sign? Do you believe in it or whatever? And also, how much out from one to ten does your sign match, match your how you are and also don't just do you but like have a look at like people in your life so like your family your best friends like boyfriend girlfriend like because that like is an indicator too and i yeah. feel like we looked at our brother and it was him spot on to a T. and her boyfriend she said yes yeah. oh like he's like a Taurus, and she was reading off everything and it was just describing him it was insane yeah um so i know i do i do find it interesting like i'm not gonna say I, I I might read a bit more into it because if there is Dude. any science behind it, but I feel like often um you can tell better when you're looking at people that's not you because sometimes you'll be like that's not me because you're being yeah. defensive. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you actually look at like your family, boyfriend, friends, like you're gonna be n- just be like yes, no, because you're not gonna be defensive about yeah. them. You know what I mean? So definitely let us know. I I can't wait to read your comments. Like I'm actually yeah, so excited. Yeah, I am excited as well. Like I just I just want to see if there's an overall like trend in the comments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, we need to go to Disney World now. And eat food because yeah. we're starving. And we filmed a collab over on her channel which will be linked down below. We got ready actually today and we just like had a chatty get ready with us talking about loads of different things. Yeah. So definitely go and have a watch of that one. Mm-hmm. And, and we're also going to be vlogging at Disney so yes. that'll probably be up after this. There's uh, going to be a vlog of like this whole trip. So yeah. um, so give a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe down below and we will see you all in our next video. Bye. Bye.